I think I started to think about how I looked from a young age, really young, like primary school. You can't be a kid and go to school without having to think about is your hair long, is your hair short, do you have bubbles, do you, you know, there's always so much to think about so you cannot just be a kid. I've had issues with my daughter as far as like image because of her curly hair, you know we have Caribbean um, attributes and she always wants to straight. We're constantly being bombarded with what you know society is trying to tell us that the perfect image or the perfect person should look like. It is a scary aspect to look at a young person now for when I was younger and see how much they've changed. Nowadays it's all, oh I wouldn't go there, I wouldn't do that, oh my hair can't look like this. And when you see that you're thinking you're only 13, you shouldn't have to worry about the way you look and where you're going or what you're doing, it's just about enjoying yourself and experiencing life safely. My group of friends when I was in school growing up, we were quite solid, but where if one person went on a diet, there was this catalyst where everyone was. Eating disorders are such a big thing for young women. I just know how it feels to feel so negatively about yourself and your body and to want to be someone else. And I don't want anyone else to have to go through that. I'd say young girls are not being taught enough about you know, their bodies whilst they're growing up um, and you know, developing into young women. I'd say, yeah, we ought to really, like that, that should be pushed definitely. It isn't just the role of the media. We need to educate people to be more media savvy, mm -hmm. for example, to understand that models are models and they don't necessarily represent the whole spectrum of, of body type. I suppose something my mum used to mention a lot, I suppose with, with Marilyn Monroe and then you had Catherine Hepburn, it's two completely different body images and they were both okay. Women come in different shapes and sizes and colours and everything. Everybody's born differently, everybody has a different, you know, metabolism, everybody has different genes and you know genetic makeup and stuff. If your confidence is defined by the way other people see you, you're never going to be happy. You're always going to be swaying one way or the other. We are all completely different. Every single thing about our genetic makeup and how we look is different. It's okay to say, well actually, yeah, I look good today. The only opinion that really matters is your own.